boost your writing with the power of synonyms and antonyms. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting episode where we dive deep into the world of advanced vocabulary. Today, we're focusing on a crucial aspect, identifying appropriate synonyms and antonyms. We'll be looking specifically at how to utilize resources like thesauruses and dictionaries. This knowledge will not only enhance your vocabulary, but also dramatically improve the quality of your writing. Let's start at the beginning. Synonyms are words that have similar meanings. They allow you to add variety to your writing and avoid repetition. An example could be happy, joyful, and cheerful. On the other hand, antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. They help to create contrast and show differences. For instance, happy and sad are antonyms. Now that we've established what synonyms and antonyms are, let's talk about how we find them. This is where resources like thesauruses and dictionaries come in. A thesaurus is a book or a tool that lists words grouped together according to similarity of meaning. It can help you find synonyms and sometimes antonyms for a specific word. If you're looking for a different way to say, happy, a thesaurus could suggest words like, elated, pleased, or content. A dictionary, while traditionally used for definitions, can also provide synonyms and antonyms for words. Many dictionaries, especially online ones, include a thesaurus feature. They can be especially helpful when you're unsure about the nuances of similar words. Having access to a list of synonyms or antonyms doesn't mean that all words are interchangeable in all contexts. It's essential to understand the connotations and nuances that each word carries. For example, joyful may carry a stronger emotional connotation than happy, and thus may not be suitable in a more neutral context. This is where a dictionary comes in handy again. It provides detailed definitions and often includes examples of how the word is used in sentences. Always check to ensure the synonym or antonym you chose fits the context of your writing. And that's a wrap. Remember, diversifying your vocabulary with synonyms and antonyms can greatly enhance your writing quality. Using a thesaurus and dictionary is an excellent way to expand your word bank and ensure you're using words correctly. Happy writing, and see you in our next episode where we'll continue to explore the fascinating world of the English language.